If you're a parent, you know your role is more than just feeding, clothing, and keeping your child safe. You also need to put your children on the path to success by teaching them how to earn a living, and according to Jewish tradition, even swim. But that's a different story. Among all the critical life skills we want and need to share with our children is how to speak respectfully and avoid onaas dvarim. Since most children are not born with a highly developed degree of sensitivity, as they grow, it's quite common for them to mock, tease, jeer, bully, make fun of, and generally torture each other. There are many excellent parenting books out there, but the best parenting techniques in the world will be next to useless if kids see the adults in their lives disparaging and bad-mouthing each other. If we don't intentionally model good and positive behaviors, our children can cause tremendous, long-lasting harm to one another. Bullying can impact a kid for life. It's critical that we take the time and the energy to teach children not to speak badly of others. At the same time, it's also not acceptable for us as adults to speak in a demeaning way to children. Just because they're young doesn't mean they don't have feelings. When you speak to children in a way that hurts their feelings, it's onaas dvarim. So, for example, if we see one child bullying another, we can't pounce on them and give them the same treatment. A better idea is to catch them when they're speaking well of each other and focus on their positive interaction rather than their negative one. Try this at home. If you have occasion to be around children today, make sure to speak to them as respectfully as you want them to speak to each other. My name is Bluma Bronner, and I'm keeping it clean.